I'm Damon Hatfield. This is Colin Moriarty. This is Marty Sleva. Hey, how's it going, guys? Marty reviewed Assassin's Creed 4 Black yeah. Flag for us here at IGN. He liked the game a lot. Yeah, yeah. I like the game a lot. This game doesn't have a camera or robots that we can toss around, though. Mm, no big rubber so? duckies. That no, are no big rubber duckies that we can play we're with. We're going to so. entertain ourselves in other yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, we're playing uh, Black Flag on uh, PS4. Where this are we jumping playing. into the game here? We are starting the game. Oh, from the very beginning. Okay. Yes, and uh, so I guess I guess that's a spoiler warning if you're waiting, but at the same time, it's the beginning I mean, of the game. I mean, it's so the very beginning of the game. Anyways. Um, but a big thing I want to show off is that you know a lot of people, uh, one of the major problems with uh, AC3, rightfully so, is that it had a very slow beginning. It took probably five, yeah. six, seven, eight hours to actually get into the, sort of the fun, open part of it. And uh, that is not the case with Black yeah. Flag. Will you Just climb up a wall the during a theater? <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is none of that in the opening hour. Okay. If we had a little more time, maybe I could show you something, but... Dustin, congratulations. Oh, and I think you'll like this. You're also a Far Cry 3 fan, right? I love Far Cry 3. But you haven't been too impressed with recent ACs, right? No. I've never been a really a big fan of the series, and, and 3 really disappointed me, actually. So Because so I love the subject. You know, sure, yeah, sure. But. Yeah, taking, taking history and kind of putting a spin on it and, and placing you in the time and, and the world. Um, with this game, it, it feels less like an Assassin's Creed game and more like a sort of adventure pirate game. And I think the game is at its best when it's sort of embracing that, that model, that creed. Mm -hmm. Yar, if you will. Yar, yar, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that. Like the, yeah, that was yeah, good. That was, yeah, that was really very, good. Yeah, it was very organic. Yeah, <laughs> really very <laughs> organic. So there you go. You kind of just start in media res right in the middle of the scene. Cape Bonavista. Ever been there, Colin? Nope. 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 Neither have I. Never have, huh? No, no never been to Cape Bonavista. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, a lot of a lot of piracy. Shelling. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Yeah, are they going to board? Are they going to grape shot? They're going to... Ooh. I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I played like 45 hours of this game. I don't even know what those mean. I think I know what board means. So this is you right now. This is uh, your uh, Edward Kenaway. You are the grandfather of Connor and the father of uh, Hatham from uh, Assassin's Creed 3. I lo so one of the cool things I really did love about AC3 was this. The, was the, 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 the naval ship, combat? Yeah, the naval combat and, yeah. and stuff. And There's a lot of it in this one. Yeah, cool. you're, gonna be, you're gonna be happy, and it 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 uh, really builds upon what uh, what worked really well in AC3. So, yeah, the naval combat was rad. That was probably the best part of the game. Yeah. So was AC4? AC4 was really built with current gen tech and then kind of upresed, or yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's it's definitely it feels just like a gorgeous version of an Assassin's Creed, you know, three or or current Black Flag. Um, you know, one great thing, you know, the frame rate is locked solid. Uh, the loading times are, are non noticeable on next gen. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to sail across an you know an absolutely massive map without whoa, lightning just struck that guy. Summon that. I'm not sure summon that. <laughs> Um, you have godlike powers. Now. Yeah, but you'll see once uh, you know it's it's, it's a bit tough to uh, to notice. You know, it's kind of a night scene, but uh, once once we blow these ships up and get back onto dry land, you're gonna see just you know just how yeah. gorgeous the game actually the, is. Love the very lush jungle environment. Yeah, absolutely, and... it's cool too watching just the ships get you you know you you broadside the ship and you do a lot of damage, but then you hit. The, the mast and stuff, and you do a little bit of that. Yeah, so you can see yeah. it like tearing up. And yeah, like yeah, and you see abs like you know actual particle effects as you destroy specific parts of the ship. Pretty neat. Yeah. So right now, if this was AC3, we'd still be uh, we'd be watching theater. We'd, right. We'd crawl Climbing around. around, no yeah. one notices Climbing for some reason. Head. No one sees anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game is great. I mean. The game very quickly sort of, you know, this is an opening mission that everyone has to do. So, it, also the tone is very different in this game. You see from here, you know, you start off and you're just a privateer and an assassin attacks your ship. Yeah. So you're not like someone who's spent a lifetime in this, in this brotherhood. So who are you privateering for in the, in the story? You are, uh, you are a man of, uh, just a man of money. You will, you will take any job you can. Okay. Just a little cutscene where it's like a flashback. Flashback. He gets these every once in a while. You see what his life was like before he sort of uh, took up piracy. It's like um, he doesn't really have a noble cause. No, he like he just doesn't. wants to get rich. Which I like. Yeah. There's a uh, there's a moment. Uh, you know, no spoilers, but later on in the game where it feels like a character is about to tell you a, a secret that would actually like reveal a mystery that the that the series has kind of been hinting at, and Edward's just kind of like, nope, I'm going to stop you there. All I care about is money. I do not care about this. And I, yeah, I feel like it's a smart uh, sort of reaction to 
a lot of people, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say growing tired, but sort of wanting something more fun and freeform. And he's not wearing a shirt. I know, which That's I, exciting. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I also appreciate how clean shaven he is. Yeah, for a pirate. Yeah, yeah. Well, he doesn't have any... Body yeah. hair. I don't know at all. I mean, <laughs> and in 1715, or if this is a flat track, so even before that, like you could imagine how painful it must that have the been. Salt to, water, maybe? The I don't salt know. water just remove all body hair. God just might have smiled upon him. God might have just smiled upon him and made yeah. him just a hairless uh, wonder. Okay, so we're swimming up now. We survived. You guys were worried. That looks like uh, Simon Belmont. Oh man, that's that's the twist at the end of the yeah. <laughs> so the series. Is that it's a Castlevania? Yeah. Fine. Nice little, nice little fire effects. Oh, a man in a cloak walks in, hands you a whip. <laughs> whip. <laughs> it's time to get to work. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But they never even got permission for Konami to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a qu- They're as surprised as everyone else. <laughs> we did it. We made to dry land. It's day now. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just- there we are. Earth's whipping around the sun right now. This is, that's how it was in 1750. Look how, this is, this is gorgeous. Look yeah, it does look great. Yeah. No armpit hair either. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know, it's like swimmers. Yeah, I yeah, mean, Michael Phelps is all swimming like, yeah. and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just that's saying Gillette wasn't founded yet at this point, so this must have been, I'm <laughs> curious about how they, they made this happen. Was it good for you as well? Havana. Havana. Double I must mm. get to Havana. This is the uh, this is the assassin. This is the assassin. Yeah. So uh, you kind of, you get attacked by sort of this this smarmy little assassin. And he's not as noble as the the Ezio's and the yeah. Honors and the Altairs that we've uh, grown to love. He's a drink. Yeah. Yeah. He's a drinker. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? Well, the water looks pretty. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be able to we're able to run around. You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Oh, oh pulled the gun out of us. The old pistol. But, but his flintlock's powder is wet. Wah, wah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Someone, someone reads their history books. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your powder dry, clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we are. We're in the world. Look how pretty it is. It's nice looking. I bet, I bet chasing him down would Come be a, on, a good way to learn how to run around here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the game also swords. the game does a really good job. Like obviously, yeah, right now you're in swords. the uh, you're in the middle of the jungle, and it feels like uh, sort of like the nature segments of AC3. But the game does a really good job of giving you moments like this, as well as kind of big sprawling towns like like uh, Kingston and Nassau that yeah. feel more it's like a traditional like AC2 sort of. Uh, Will you walk that distance? City. It's been a lot of time in jungle environments because as you sail around, you'll find just islands. Yeah, yeah. That you can hop out and do stuff. Yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, anyone. That's if, cool. if anyone ever played Wind Waker, it, yeah. it feels a lot like that, where there are main sort of like hubs, but there are also just little islands scattered about yeah. that have optional, you know, objectives and story missions and all sorts of fun like that. How's the uh, parkour? Because this was th- that was always my biggest problem with the Assassin's Creed games was they just felt. I don't know not everyone agrees with that, but they just felt. Rigid and like I, I always talk about Infamous as being a game that like you know felt a little bit better to me. How sure, do you, how do you sure. think, Is it an improvement from AC3? Uh, kind of the yeah, same? I mean I've definitely like there's still those moments of where yeah, where yeah, he'll run him, up a wall that yeah, you don't yeah, want him to run up or exactly. jump off something you don't want him to jump off of. Uh, but I feel like those as a series has gone on have become you know few and far between. Yeah, I tend to be forgiving of that sort of stuff. Just yeah, to, like, yeah. I like the, the mechanics still. Sure, well. and the scope is so big. Yeah, that's really pretty. And that's one of those things like you can pretty much go anywhere you're looking at right now. Now I suspect that there is a hay pile at the bottom of this or, 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 or uh, some leaves? No, we're going to see. We're going to see. Just just make a leap of faith. Oh, okay. So some uh, some brush there from you the, go. the palm trees. Okay. <laughs> so I've been playing this game on Xbox 360. Sure. I wouldn't say this looks uh, inc- remarkably better. Sure. I just think it already looks really good on current. Yeah, systems. yeah, I mean that's one of the things too you have to realize is that I think it is it's up there with it's probably one of the five, ten best looking current gen games. Mm. You know, it's right there, I think, alongside something like Last of Us or you know, what Naughty Dog's doing, what uh, yeah. uh, you know, something like Halo Four. Uh, yeah, and so, you know, yeah, it doesn't have that that immediate sort of wow factor that something like, say, Killzone has. 
Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, it, one of the big things is just how it runs. Like uh, current gen, there are loading times. Like the loading times aren't terrible. You're not gonna, you know, be sitting there looking at your watch or, or making a pot pie <laughs> while you wait for. Uh, Oh, Popeye. Popeye. I really like yeah. Popeye. Popeye's a great. Marie Calendar. Yeah. They get so hot, though. They yeah, they gotta just hot. let them sit for yeah. a while. You gotta I'm poke not, a hole in yeah. the top of them <laughs> and then walk away them, for a little you while. You start making them before you're hungry, which is always tough. That was a pro tip for the audience. Oh, what the hell are we talking yeah. about? I don't know. <laughs> We've been doing this for six hours now. <laughs> I know. I know. Now you're just gonna kill this guy. I know. So, this yeah. is kill. <laughs> well, it went from, like, I'm gonna tackle him to he shot at me. So that's not good. Yeah. So I love this game, but it is kind of silly. And like now you're just gonna kill this assassin. Like you're just a pirate. Yeah. So I mean that was uh, in my. I gave the game an eight point five. I loved it. Thought it was great. Uh, one of my main sort of complaints with it is that I don't think the story is that great. I'm not a huge fan of like the mainline. Yeah. Sort of narrative yeah. or or Edward's arc. I like the fact that Edward. It, the story is much more lighthearted. Yeah. But when it does try to be heavy, I'm just kind of like ah. Um, and so, you know, what I love about the game is just sort of going out and making my own fun and he stabbing just, he this just guy. decided to stop running. Yep. Well, because he wanted to die Jesus. in a swamp. I know, right? He's, he's supposed to be a trained assassin. Well, he just got, he got stabbed. Now we're going to do one of these scenes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before. The old, the old steel is close. Dun, dun, dun. It's like you're in a swamp now. The old Caribbean swamps. See, look at that. A tesseract. He's got, he's got a tesseract. He's gonna build the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. Now I will be the assassin. If you truly yeah, possess the this, information, this guy could be naked in the jungle. We have <laughs> no, oh my like. god. <laughs> A little risque. <laughs> All right. All right. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, but I like the fact that very soon, you know, very trust quick into the game, you are just have, okay. You've killed the guy. You got your hostage. You're good. Just, but that's you like, have you have half a mission to do, and then the game opens up. And yeah. It's like all right. I also like that they get right to it. But maybe they should have just made him an assassin right from the beginning because he's just how does he know how to be an assassin? <laughs> He knows how to kill people. I don't know. Is that, that yeah, this, naturally? Well, AC3 like, was like very slow in plotting. This might be a little too quick. He's just an assassin now, like with no training whatsoever. Well, it's in his blood, though. Isn't that what the whole series is about? I mean, okay. Right? Like he's, right. he's got the blood of Altair and Ezio in him. He he's knows. got future blood. He doesn't have to train. Him. You gotta have that future blood. You gotta have a ton of future blood. What's going on here? How's this? Is this gonna go work well? Nope. Nope. It's fine. Oh my goodness. So this is, uh, we're going to showcase the new uh, shrubbery, the stalking zones. Yeah. So it provides, uh, you know, the game, uh, the, the series has kind of shied away from uh, stealth in recent entries. And I think this they one. You can't see you when you're in these zones. Yeah, I, I, I know. So don't let me into my zone right here. Okay. There's some of this in AC3, though, right? Like, I mean, it's not. There's some of this, but this is. That like... next gen turtle. Yeah. <laughs> that is a next gen turtle. Oh my god. Yeah, this fool, he's coming in. No one notices. No. <laughs> you're in the stalking zone. Yeah. Cool. You know what the stalking zone's all about? You gonna kill that turtle? Yeah. Can so you stealth kill the turtle? Can you kill it? No, you can't kill it. Uh, They're in endangered point species. They're, They're in endangered at this point. <laughs> <laughs> They're endangered because of people this like that. Four people like me got to it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do this time, Matthew? You don't even wait for them to come at you. No, I, I'm I'd be the pretty impatient. Uh, yeah, the combat still the combat feels fine. It still doesn't quite have the. It's not like Arkham. That's the, that's the thing. Like Arkham sets such a high bar in terms of uh, immediately makes you feel you know like you're amazing, but at the same time it has like quite a bit of a learning curve that you want to you want to become proficient at it. Um, I, I find myself just tapping the, the attack button and parrying whenever the game tells me to. You meet a buddy right now. Yeah, he's gonna be a friend. It's a little like. Bob Cratchit, tell yeah. you. Some comic relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have hair? Uh, body hair? No, he's. I mean, he's, we don't think he's a bit more him. conservative. <laughs> he wears he wears long sleeve coats. You don't mean to abscond. I, I really want you to help the turtle to the water because I think it's just going in circles. <laughs> it's gonna take him a very long time to get there. What's your name, friend? But then, what if I help him and then he lays eggs? Oh yeah, like and then you can set eggs a chain and reaction to, of events. And then I have to like take care of him. And this becomes a whole different game. It becomes like Blue Tycoon. I don't want that. I want to play Zoo Tycoon when I play the Xbox One. There you go. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. More on Zoo Tycoon. End of life. <laughs> you have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick you got some boxes here. I don't know what's in those. Gave me quite a fright. It's Supplies, yeah, salt and meat. You'll, you'll find those around, around, yeah. around the world. I think it's out to be a what's that? What's the bread that the the sailors eat? Hardtack. 
know what I'm talking about? Is that what it was called? I think so. It was like bread that wouldn't mold? Yeah, like mm. bread that was just gross. Is that just crackers? Oh yeah, so I like this. I like the treasure maps. So we got treasure maps here. Okay, show me. So, hardly the worst thing to happen. On a treasure map. When you find a treasure map, it'll bring it up. Hit X. And then it's, uh, it's gonna come up. And so, this doesn't tell you exactly, it gives you the coordinates yeah. in the bottom right. When you're and sailing around the map, you can find those coordinates. That's awesome. You go to this location, and then you just have to find it from this photo. Yeah. Or this picture. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. that's cool. This one is really nearby. Yes. Is it? Yeah, it's behind you. Holy crap. Wait, yeah. are we gonna find it? Yeah, go. Do you know where it is? Yeah. I don't know where it is. Go back, just go back to where you came. Wait. Back there. Back here? Nope. Back nope. here? There, there. Oh, this is. <clears throat> This is exciting. Needs a guy's the turtle. Team. You can't kill the turtle, Marty. At some point, you're going to be able to. Maybe if you had the gun, you I'm can shoot back the turtle in the head. So yeah, go back through here. Yeah, through the water. Yes. Oh my God, this yep. is giving the viewers a little pro tip. You're here. seeing how the sausage is made right now. The treasure map sausage. Look back here. Where are we? Look at your oh. map. Wait. Wait. Yep. Oh, no, it's just I found right it. There. We found it. <laughs> you got it. We're digging. What do you think it is? Well, this guy tweeted at us a million times, so I'm going to have to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do we have any questions? Did he get himself blocked? Yeah, I think I had that block. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's the opposite of a question. Oh. Yeah, we got 1,500 1500 R's. Ruples. Oh, we, oh, we got that trophy. Trophy. Most important thing of all. Is it really? Is that what we're going with? <laughs> And I'm not only talking about video games, I'm talking just, about just, just Not like family, yeah. not your significant other. You got family, you know? you got friends, you got all that kind of stuff. Money, you know, love. Yeah, all those are fleeting. Yeah. The trophies. Trophies are forever. Or yeah. until yeah. Sony servers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Water looks really nice. Look at a those little, fish down there. A little swimming. Look at them. Did he kill the fish? Uh, you, there is a lot of harpooning later on in the game. You oh, go whaling. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm surprised they got away with that. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, I'm, I'm no, fine. You know, I'm fine is, with it. No. You know, I'm fine with it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a video game. I know, but I'm, I'm surprised that some someone I, didn't complain about this. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that, that Peter hasn't. I think Peter complained about Assassin's Creed 3, or maybe it was this one, actually. But whatever, Peter complains and nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. Peter does that. No one that, cares. At the helm of that ship now. All right. I think we get a good little whale scene right here. Actually. Oh, right. I've been waiting for a good whale scene. <laughs> <laughs> <In this game. laughs> Strong wind now. Let's strike to full. Look at this. How, can, how can you not think this is gorgeous? Look at this. Sail on boat. Water. That water. That water.org. I feel like water is one of those effects that, like, at every new console launch, like, people are showing off. Like, I remember thinking it was like. amazing in Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine, absolutely. I love like, Mario Sunshine. I, I miss Mario Sunshine. Everyone was so hard in that game. Like, this game's great. Everyone was Make Mario Sunshine 2. Oh. Hear that, Nintendo? I don't think Nintendo heard that. You don't think they're watching? You don't think Reggie's watching this? <laughs> Reggie doesn't call the shots over there. Audrey does now. All right. Turn around this bend. Do we have any, do we have any Assassin's Creed Exciting. questions? Do we, have, do we have any questions uh, to... I don't, I don't have access I'm, to, our, to our Twitter. I'm sure that we do here. I've just been having so much fun. Talking about next-gen turtles? Harpooning whales? Yeah. Top 10 next-gen turtles? This isn't gonna go well. Nope. Oh I, my god. I didn't do that well. Mm. It's all right. The boat's all right. Yeah. Does the boat heal? Are there any glitches uh, in this Assassin's Creed I should be aware of that might impede my game progress? Oh, uh, glitches? I mean, there's like <laughs> Marty's beating the game. Stuff will happen. I had I had one point where uh, I had to kill a guard and steal his key, and I killed a guy, but I couldn't take his key until I went and like uh, evaded my pursuers, and in doing so, I died. But then when I came back, the key had disappeared. Oh my. Ooh. So I had to restart the mission. That happened once. So I wouldn't say that really impeded progress. Yeah. It was a bit annoying, but I got over it. All right, something cool is about to happen here, Colin. Did we see the whale yet? Nope. Spoilers. Look there at it. Is. Oh, Look at the event. So that was, oh, a, that was a scripted whale. Yeah. There are many non scripted whales. In the I, game, feel like, so. I feel like, you know, I'm not a marine biologist. But I feel like the whale wouldn't be in an inlet that <laughs> shallow. <laughs> that is a massive whale. And he's jumping out of the water. He's going to knock himself against the bottom. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just a cloud of blood that comes up. Yeah, the whale blows, blows, blows up. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a marine biologist, please tweet at us. Yeah. He was trying to beach himself. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Uh, I can see why Peter would be upset. 
Now we're getting a zoom out. We're also gonna get a little taste of, uh, so a lot of people have complaints about, uh, you know, the, the modern day stuff in Assassin's Creed, the Desmond missions, oh. and the, the sort of meta Are we story. doing that now? So this is, it cuts to that quickly. Fantastic quick. work. Oh dear. Very promising. Except it's different now. It's different now. It's first now, person. You play as a nameless Abstergo you, you play as you. You play as you, yeah. And uh, very little of it is necessary. I think you can get by. You can do 30, 35 minutes of it and get through the entire game. Uh, but I actually liked, I liked the missions. We're going to see them now. Like, and uh, Abstergo is like a, they're like an entertainment company now. Yeah, I mean, they are sort of a proxy for Ubisoft proper. Yeah. Like they're talking about how last year they released Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation for the Vita. Yeah. And they're talking about, uh, oh, you know, you're going back in time and, and chronicling the memories of Edward in order to create an entertainment product for them. Yeah. You know, and they have hints at, uh, you, you know, people have always had theories about uh, where the next Assassin's Creed game is going Look to place. Out. And these missions almost uh, poke fun at that. They're talking about how they want to make a product where you're a samurai or a product where you're yeah. in, uh, you know, uh, northern Africa. Oh, I'm looking around. I wasn't doing that. If yeah. you have any blur Look at the lights. Look at that lights. Down. It's that halo effect. I just don't understand, like, I understand the story is, like, a, a mixture of history and current day stuff and tracing that lineage and stuff, but it's, I never, in an AC2 and AC, you know, well, AC2 specifically, I just felt like the whole modern day thing was, I just feel like, I don't care, like, you know, like, I don't know, I just feel like they should just stick with the history. Yeah, I feel like the historical things can stand on their own, like, Ubisoft's really good at building worlds. If you just tell me I'm a, I'm a renaissance assassin, like, that's all I need, yep, that's it, that's, all right. I'm good, yep, I'll do that, yeah. Your file says you've done some memory. Now you're Abstergan. Look at this guy. But not to yeah. this extent, which is co-workers. Nice He's got jeans on. Pretty nice office. It's nicer than the IGN office. Casual fry. A little bit. We don't have a terrarium like this. No, we certainly don't. Oh, These people. They look Canadian. What is, what is, is that guy wearing long this shorts? <laughs> or I don't are they capri pants? I don't think it's appropriate to wear. I mean, that's interesting. What are these? Are they rolled up jeans? <laughs> no, they're cargo they're pants. They're like long, they're like, yeah, man priest. That's like what I, I, I would wear those like Jenkos, like uh, long, wow. you know, you Jen what? just to hang out. <laughs> Eighth grade, ninth grade. Have someone to put your 3DS XL? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not fitting in no regular pocket. He's bringing it back. Yeah. I, yeah, the way you, Wait for him. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what wait for him means. Wait for oh. him. <laughs> oh, wait for him. He's everyone. so far away. Left or behind. Do we have any Assassin's Creed related yeah, questions? Yeah, Sean will say, so does Black so Flag feel, really feel next gen? It's like I've, I've been playing it on 360 and I love it. Yeah. Um, I think it feels great. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what his definition of feels next gen is. I think it feels like a, uh, an evolution of what the current gen games have felt like. Yeah. Um, just take a minute, okay? To be honest, I don't know if any of these, these games at launch feel next-gen. Like, a lot of them look gorgeous, oh, you, but I don't think a lot of them oh, have uh, really sort of evolved yeah. gameplay yeah. mechanics and systems to actually uh, do something that couldn't have been done Magnifique. before. Some people think Titanfall feels next-gen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've never had a chance to play it yet, but that's the one that the everyone walks away from. Our trade. Well, I love Assassin's Creed 4. You should play it. But don't feel like you have to play it on next-gen systems. Mm. No, I mean, yeah, this isn't, it's not a reason to buy a PS4. Uh, but if you are buying a PS4, by all means, mm -hmm. I think this is a great addition. You want it? You might have noticed that security seems a little lighter. Got a little, here. A little That's iPad there. Your communicator yep. is yeah. your key to get files. Around. My files. My files. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you need the iPad to use elevators, I think. Yeah, which is Actually how pretty good elevators work. Right? Kind of awkward the way it sits. <laughs> well, I mean, you can <laughs> chill. You can yeah, but it. it's like, is it? How is like, he I, holding it? Yeah, well, not even that, but it, just, it doesn't make it clear. To me, like there, there should, it should be held out maybe further with the hand. Sure, sure. It just looks like a shaky, like HUD kind of. A little shaky HUD. One of our viewers, Scott Menzies, I think is signal? confused. If okay. Why, why are you confused, Scott? Why, why did you go with the decision to promote your console to primarily about games studio, rather than an all-in-one system? So it's not. We didn't make the console. No. We did not. No. We had, Sony is a company <laughs> that manufactures the PlayStation Four. Yeah. We just, we're just, we'll just cover it and uh, play the games and let you know which ones we think are good. Let's go. Yeah. So she's taking us to our desk. Ah, yeah. The boss, Olivier desk? There's a receptionist. We have one of those. It's pretty riveting. Sure. Uh, Stuff here. Look at this. Well, see, they're a French well, company. So. This is sort of the uh, proxy for Yves Guimau. Uh, <laughs> this the, is the head of yeah. Ubisoft. I don't think that looks like Yves Guimau. Well, it's like the, the, hey, the boss. Does he walk around kissing people all day? I He probably does. Let's ask him. We'll ask him. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, yeah. That was like your joke. <laughs> he stole my joke. I mean, 
So that's the whole thing. We have a camera hooked up, and so that's what the PlayStation camera does. Is it look, takes your jokes, and then it, and then it puts them, puts them in, the in the game. It's very next gen. Yeah. That would be incredibly next gen. I know. That would be, that would be next level next gen. Guys, I want to skip Call of Duty and just keep playing Assassin's Creed for the rest of the hour. <laughs> Miles. Office. Andy Doran tells me that gray whales do give birth in shallow lagoons. Wow. Was that a gray whale, though? I don't know, I don't know. what a gray whale is. I be, it, Thank you, I Andy. Did you get a guess? <laughs> you, you, know, you know two things about it. He's a scientist working with invertebrates. Wow. <laughs> I work with invertebrates. <laughs> so he, he definitely knows more about these things than I do. I spend most of my time dealing with vertebrates. Yeah, actually. Not a big fan of worms. Your very own Animus workstation. Those are the only invertebrates. Oh, the though. worms video games that do. Those are great. Those are a lot of fun. This is our desk. So the behind you, you you get trophies. Toy like, yeah. As you, I haven't really figured out how you unlock them yet. Uh, they, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm still a little confused if they're related to actual trophies and achievements in the mm. game, yeah. or if they are sort of just you know by completing a chapter you get them. But by the mm. end of the game, you just have a ton of toys on yourself. Yeah. So. Can you while you're playing it? the game, at any time you can just like quit out to this area yeah. and go around the office yeah. and do stuff. It's weird. It's weird. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's why? Weird. Why? <laughs> it is weird. You're looking at here. You got some books. Yeah. You got a book that says Assassin's Creed, which is the name of the game. No, no crouch button. No. no crouch button. Is there? Yeah, I was looking for a crouch button. There's there. a screwdriver on the ground. Yeah, these like secret uh, scan codes around that you can. Find. Yeah, post-it notes. Yeah. Unlockables, if you will. <clears throat> I will not. You will not. Okay. Sticky notes collected. To Animus Omega. We're doing a little spinning here. Entertainment's proprietary ancestral Ooh. memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus really console, I can look here. We have a few minutes left. Contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. So yeah, Remember to pretend has a question for Colin. Ooh. Will we see a return of how-to platinum videos? Um, trophy wars. Uh, possibly. I have many things to do, so it's hard for me to do everything I want to do, but I would like to return to Trophy Wars one day, yes. You a man who's outgrowing trophies? No, 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 I wouldn't say that. I just... <laughs> don't be silly. Don't, let's not... You're busy, you're a busy man. I'm a busy man, it's yeah. just way too much for me to do on a sure, daily basis, sure. so Trophy Wars has fallen off to the wayside, unfortunately, but one day maybe we'll Maybe you could it. hire a trophy intern. I'd love that. Yeah. I'd love to have an intern so I can, uh, you know, they, maybe they can send emails for me and... Uh, Make photocopies that I never we made. We need interns it's to not bring 1980. us coffee and water. Yeah, when yeah, we're on yeah. these live shows. Uh, one last question here. Aaron Nahum asks: Is the harpooning gameplay any good, and how does it benefit you in the game? The harpooning is fun. Yeah. Uh, I like the harpooning a lot. Uh, it comes in a little later in the game, uh, and it does benefit you by uh, you know you get the animals and you can sell their hides for uh, money, or uh, use the hides much like Far Cry Three to craft. sort of cre yeah to craft uh, you know item pouches and and even like costumes costumes yeah pouches that you can carry more animal more bombs. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. Yeah, it was my pleasure. That's guys. Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite games of the year. After this quick break, we're gonna come back and play Call of Duty Ghosts and give away our final PlayStation Four and copy of Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. Be right back. <laughs> 